Hi everyone, my name is Zinosh and today we are going to talk about 12 factor app. First factor is code base. There should be only one code base and it can be deployed many times like a running instance of the app in Dave, Stage or Prod. This is one to one correlationship between the code base and the app. If there are multiple code bases, it is not an app, it's a distributed system. Multiple apps sharing the same code is a violation of 12 factor. So the solution is to create libraries of shared code, which can be included through the dependency manager. Second factor is dependencies. All dependencies should be declared in your manifest like pom.xml. And there should be no implicit reliance on system tools or libraries. Third factor is config. An app's config is the only thing that is likely to vary between deploys. The important rule here is never commit your environment specific configuration in resource code repository. One approach to config is the use of config file, which is not checked in revision control, such as YML file. Fourth factor is backing service. A backing service is any service the app consumes over the network as a part of its normal operation. Example, data stores, messaging or queuing systems, SMTP services, caching systems. A deploy of 12 factor app should be able to swap out local MySQL database with one managed by the third party such as Amazon RDS without any change to the app's code or a local SMTP server should be swapped with the third party's SMTP server without code changes. In both cases, only the resource handle in the config needs to change. Fifth is build, release and run. The delivery pipeline should strictly consist of build, release and run. The build stage is a transform which converts a code repo into an executable bundle known as a build. The release stage takes the build produced by the build stage and combines it with the deploy's current config. The run stage runs the app in the executable environment. We cannot change the code in this executable environment. Sixth is processes. The 12 factor processes are stateless and share nothing. Any data that needs to persist must be stored in a stateful backing service, typically a database. So in case one insists on the application's crashes, it does not harm process of another instance. Sixth is port binding. Explicitly export service via port binding. Instead of depending on external service like Apache Tomcat to handle incoming requests and decide which port to bind, applications should decide which port to bind. The 12 factor app is completely safe contained and binds service to a network port. Sixth is concurrency. If a process or resource reaches its capacity of the container, the application scales by adding another container. This is horizontal scaling. We should take care the concurrency is not compromised. Ninth is disposability. Maximum robustness with fast startup and graceful shutdown. This means that application should start fast and should shut down quickly with closing all resources. Ten factor is dev or prod parity. Keep deployment, staging and production as similar as possible. Same application should be deployed in all environments. Config file can differ in this case. Eleventh is logs. Treat logs as event streams. Logs should store at a central place as the application in container will start and stop and no data will be persisted in the containers. Splunk 
or elk tools can be used in this case. Twelfth is admin processes. Run admin or management tasks as one of its processes. There are some one-time scripts like running database migrations. So this should run separately from our processes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.